This ventilator screenshot shows an assist control mode of ventilation with volume control and a set tidal volume of 450 milliliters, respiratory rate 24 per minute, PEEP 8 centimeters of water, maximum inspiratory flow of 60 liters per minute, and trigger sensitivity 2.5 liters per minute. In this mode, every patient-initiated effort should trigger a full mandatory breath delivering the set tidal volume. The first breath appears to be patient-triggered, demonstrated by a tiny negative pressure followed by a small rise in pressure before it drops down to approximately 11 centimeters of water, indicating a strong inspiratory effort of the patient. Correspondingly, the flow waveform shows a rapid rise to the set maximum inspiratory flow of 60 liters per minute with a decelerating flow pattern as the ventilator delivers the set 450 millimeters tidal volume. As the ventilator attempts to cycle into expiration, the patient continues generating a forceful inspiratory effort, immediately triggering a second full mechanical breath with virtually no intervening expiratory phase. This produces a second rise in the volume waveform that stacks directly on top of the first breath's delivered volume, effectively creating two back-to-back -back tidal volumes. Although the ventilator resets the displayed volume to zero, the lung retains the combined delivered volume. This absence of exhalation between two complete breaths is characteristic of double triggering and reflects a mismatch between the patient's inspiratory demand and the ventilator's set inspiratory time or tidal volume, where the set inspiratory time on the machine is shorter than the neural time. Notice the pressure in the second triggered breath that is much higher than the first breath reflecting the large tidal volume and cessation of patient's efforts. Finally, the exhaled volume tracing further confirms the presence of stacked breaths as it drops below zero in expiration after the double-triggered sequence. Thank you!